Let's get this done real quick. Oh, be careful. My name is Megan, and I am from Staten Island, New York, and I would give anything to have my own grant for a day. I have three children. My husband works with the Department of Sanitation, ton of hours, he's not home. So I am with the kids all the time. Okay, one second. Trying to get dinner in. I never seem to have enough hands, arms, legs to get exactly what I need, where I need it, when I'm trying to cook a meal. If I could just have someone who, you know, appear with exactly what I need, that would be probably the saving grace to my day. If you can't find the tongs in your kitchen, Grant is on his way over. Oh Hi, God, Megan. Grant, what are you doing Hi. Here? I heard you needed help, so I am here to make dinner tonight. Are you ready to get cooking? Oh my God, yes, come in. Let's come do in. it. Today I'm going to show Megan how to make an easier than pie chicken pot pie. We're going to start by chopping all of our vegetables. Technically what this is called is mise en place. Basically what it means is that you get everything in its place and ready to go before you throw it in the pot. Even your cutting board looks more organized than mine does. <laughs> all right, so our water's up to a boil, so we're ready to start poaching our chicken. I have never poached chicken before, ever. <laughs> this is a really great way to cook a bunch of chicken at one time. All right, so let's get some other hands in here. So who wants to be... All right, it's your job already. <laughs> you don't even know what it is. Put those crackers in there and just crush them up. All right, dude, those look perfect. You get a carrot for a reward. Nice, right? It's like the worst prize ever. So while you stir those around, I'm just going to throw in our thyme. Then we're also going to use this wonderful grating tool right here to grate in some garlic. Gonna add our cheese into that. So it's gonna be our cheesy, crunchy, garlicky crust for on top of our chicken. And let's bring over our vegetables. We have our carrot, our celery, and onion. Let's shred up some of this chicken, add this into our pie filling, pour this right into our casserole dish. Everything's ready to go into the oven. It's gonna be ready in 20 minutes. And look at this big old pot pie. Check that out. So we have a nice creamy sauce with all those vegetables that help you poach chicken. This chicken pot pie, you can make this once a week times two and freeze one of them and have one for the next week. I still can't believe I got to meet Grant today. I will forever take with me the lessons that he taught me. Thank you. I feel like this might be my go-to dish after today. Mm. So good. I crushed the crackers. That's my favorite bar. same poached chicken? Yes, the same we are. base, but um, do something new with it. Exactly, because like we talked about, poached chicken is a great thing to make, because you can make so many things like it. Um, but I'm going to base this off one of my favorite um, pizzas. It's a barbecue chicken pizza. Yum. So we're going to start out by making some barbecue sauce over here. Uh, Megan, do you want to add the shallot? I just chopped that up really fine. Um, they have some yep, oil in it. Scoop it right here. on that thing. There you go. Scoop it right on that food mover and throw it in there. Um, so in here we have our shallots, our garlic, um, and to that I'm going to add in some tomato paste. Mm, um, so to that onion and garlic, I just added in some paprika. It gives it that nice smokiness, a little bit paprika, of ketchup. Paprika, ketchup, vinegar, and light brown sugar. Those are your basic elements yep. of any barbecue sauce. And wow. that's all you need. Add in your poached chicken. So I have our two pitas. I'm actually using whole wheat pizza because I feel like once you cover it with everything, Nobody's gonna the know, kids right? don't know what it, what's coming. So a little bit of that yummy uh, barbecue, barbecue chicken, chicken goes on top. I like to do a little bit of the cheese next. Oh, nice. A little bit of onion. And then I like, I think, Rachel, you like this too. This is those... Uh, roasted corn, fire yeah. roasted corn in your frozen food section. Yeah. Delicious. It's pre-roasted yeah. for you, and it just tastes 10 times better because it has a little caramelization on it. And then you put a little bit more cheese on top just to get everybody to stick together. I'm going to grab our finished one out of the oven. Nice. I'll show you what that looks like. And check these out. Mm. They look good. Yeah, they look so good. You come down here. 